In my last video, I asked you a question. Are you prepared to hear the good news now? In a world that's filled with bad news, to the unbeliever, I have good news for you, my friend. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came down from heaven. The Son of God lived a perfect, sinless life while he lived on this earth. You might say what happened to the Son of God was a tragedy because of what happened next. God's one and only begotten Son was led by Roman soldiers to a place called Golgotha. Jesus Christ was humiliated, beaten, and stripped naked for all to see. What happened next was even more horrific. His hands and feet were pierced with nails, and then the cross of Christ was lifted on high for all the world to see. Now, at this point, you might be asking yourself this question. Why was all of this taking place? Jesus Christ stepped into our world for one reason alone, to pay the penalty for the sins of the whole world. John chapter 1, verse 29. Upon the cross, your sins and mine were being paid for by the Son of God. The blood of Jesus had to be shed so that our sins might be forgiven by a loving Heavenly Father. Can't you see how much God loves you? You are the one whose heart is broken, and Jesus says to you, Let me heal your brokenness. You are the unbeliever who is lost and living in your sins. And Jesus says to you, Put your faith and trust in me, and I will forgive all of your sins and give you a brand new life. You are the one who is searching for peace. And Jesus says to you, I am the Prince of Peace. Only through having a personal relationship with Christ is peace available. The Lord Jesus can make you right with God. But you must make a life-altering decision, my friend. You must surrender your entire life, your entire heart, to the Son of God. Take yourself off of the throne of your own heart and let Jesus Christ take his rightful place by being seated on the throne of your heart as King. Jesus Christ will never force his way into your heart. He does, however, offer this invitation. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the power, he gave the right to become the children of God. John chapter 1 verse 12. So here is God's wonderful promise. Every the very moment that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior through placing your faith and trust in Him is when your whole eternal destiny is changed. John chapter 5, verse 24. Today I am pleading with you who are curious about this Jesus that I have been speaking to you about. Repent! of your sins, turn your back on them and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and only Savior. Christ is waiting for you to open the door of your heart to him. When you do, he will give you what he has promised to all who will believe in him. Jesus will save you from all of your sins. 
and he will forgive them. And he will give you the gift of eternal life. And here is the best part of all. Here is the best part of all, my friend. You will spend eternity with the God of heaven who has loved you with an everlasting love from the very beginning. If you resonate with what I am preaching. I'm speaking to you in love. By the grace of God to be full of grace and truth. Jesus Christ is a savior of the whole world. You may be asking yourself, how do I accept Christ? as my Lord, as my Savior. You receive him by praying. Just pray. Pray with me. Pray in your heart, but be sincere. Just tell him, Lord Jesus Christ, I know that I am a sinner. That if I stood before a holy God, I would be found guilty by him because I have been living in rebellion against this God of heaven. I've been living in lawlessness. I've been doing evil. I have been wicked. But I have heard the message, the good news, the gospel of grace, the gospel of Jesus Christ today. And if that's you, I want you to pray this. Just tell him, Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. I have sinned against a holy God who loves me. But I have rebelled against him. Tell him, tell Jesus right now, tell him that you are lost without him. He will not turn you away. Pray this. Tell him, Lord Jesus, I need you in my life. I know that you, I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you paid the full penalty for my sins. I place my faith in you today. I place my trust in you alone. That you would give me the gift of salvation. That I ask you right now, Lord Jesus, to forgive my sins. I repent of them. I turn my back on my sin, but I receive you as the Lord of my life right now. I have been Lord of my life. I have been on the throne of my own heart all this time. But today I acknowledge you and I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. And I ask you to save me from every sin that you died for on the cross for me. My friend, if you'd prayed this prayer sincerely from your heart, here is the promise of God in Romans chapter 10. If you confess, if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Not you might be saved. You could be saved. You will be saved by Jesus Christ. For with, with the heart you believe, you believe that God raised his son from the dead, that he resurrected him from the dead, that Jesus rose on the third day in victory over sin, over death, over the grave, and he did that for you and for me. That's good news. I am pleading with you. Don't put this off. Receive Jesus Christ today. My friend, the Bible says that today is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow you could die. Right now, God gives you the breath of life. 
He gives you the next heartbeat that you have. But you must come to him now. The time is short. But Jesus is waiting for you. He's standing at the door and he knocks and he says that today, if you open the door of your heart to him, he says, I will come in and I will stop with him. You will have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and you will know that if you die today, you will be with Jesus Christ forever. You see, God loves you so much, he wants you to be with him. But the only way to get to God The Bible says in John 14, 6, it's through his one and only begotten son. Jesus said this, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one may come to the Father except through me. 